Welcome to Connections TV. This is Terry Main, and today we're going to talk about picture quotes, memes, and other types of pictures that have words on them. A lot of times these come under different names. Sometimes they're called pins, sometimes they're called memes, sometimes they're called picture quotes. We're going to use the term picture quote here. If you've been around social media anytime, you've seen a lot of these. In other words, as I'm scrolling down my feed, I see one that shows a door. When one door is closed, don't you know another is open? There's another one down here. So many roads, so many detours, so many choices, but only one way, Jesus. And there's a lot of these. You'll see them all over the internet, and they're sort of fun. Not much more on this page, but we can find them all over the internet and you probably were wondering how can I make something like that what can I do it must be awfully technical forget it not technical at all we're going to learn how to do it right here right now right here on the connections TV so first thing you're going to want to do is go to a place called Pixlr P-I-X-L-R yes they left out the well, I don't know why. You don't know why. Nobody knows why. Probably Pixlr with a D was taken. Who cares? The, it, it's P-I-X-L-R dot com. And you just scroll down a bit and come down to, you find two options here. One is Pixlr Editor. A Pixlr Editor is something like Photoshop. It has a lot of functions to it. In fact, a lot of the functions you can do on Photoshop can be done just as easily in Pixlr Editor. But we're not going to deal with that today. We're going to deal with the simple one, which is Pixlr Express. So we click to launch the web app, and we wait a few moments. You will probably need Flash, flash on your program on your computer if you want to run this. Uh, but here it is. It's coming up. And of course, you've got your ads, but hey, it's a free program. You can deal with a few ads. Click on Browse. And as we're browsing, we're going to, I, I'm going to find a picture here. And the picture I want is in this folder here. Uh, and it's going to be easier if I just drag this out. There's the picture. I want it's a picture of a bottle of poison now I've got this idea for a meme that says bitterness is a poison forgiveness is the cure so I pulled up this bottle of poison and it's saying right there now I just want to add text to this super simple see what we've got here we've got a bunch of different uh, possibilities uh, the adjustment effects overlay borders stickers and type type is what I want so now I pop up and it goes shows me a bunch of different categories of type now there's dotted grunge is kind of like if you want to give the look of something having been painted on the side of a wall there are some handwritten scripts I have to say that they're not the best that I've seen Novelty has some fun ones in it. Retro has some good ones. Sans is a sans serif. That means it doesn't have those little foots. You see, like, for instance, here, serif has those little extra little, uh, those are called serifs, that little foot that you see on it. Sans serif is cleaner and a little bit more modern. But I want to go and look and see if there's something in the retro here that might be more uh, interesting and so I just click in here it says shows the font and uh, let's just see if we can find something here that might work well and I think hamburger heaven would um, I think I kind of like that style so I'm going to go with that now you aren't going to click right in here and and type in your text instead you type in your text in this little box down here and so I'm going to type in since I'm going to have two of these I'm going to type two lines bitterness is a 
poison. Now, if you look up here, you will see that it's not quite centered, so I'm going to center this. And I might want it a little bit larger. So I'll pull it up a little bit. And by pull, uh, how did I make it larger? See this little dot here, that little dot there? If you pull on either of them, it will make it bigger or smaller. Now, it will always increase or decrease it proportionally. You can't do a lot of fancy stuff like stretching it and making it narrower and wider and that sort of thing. You can just make it bigger and smaller. No problems. For what we're going to do, that's all we really need to do. So I have bitterness as a poison. And when I finish with that, I get it set the way I want it. I click Apply. And then I go back down here. And I want to use the same one over. So I click on Retro and choose Hamburger Heaven again. And I'm going to put under here for give Ness is the antidote. And that one's going to run a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put right after it, forgiveness is the, I'm going to put in a return. You know, click the Enter key, and that gives me two lines. And I like that centered. Now you see, these here show your alignment. The left one, that would be left alignment as we have now, where both of the lines start the left. This would be right alignment. That's where they both end at the same spot. But I want it centered, so I'm going to click on Center. And then I put my arrow key on top of this, and I hold down my left mouse key, and I drag this down to the bottom. And I want to increase the size a little, so I'm going to just grab this little thing and drag it a little bit, and then just sort of move it up a little bit more so that I have it kind of centered the way I want it to be centered. Click Apply. And now I get rid of that. Now you can see the finished product. Bitterness is a poison. Forgiveness is the antidote. All I have to do is click Save. And I'm going to put, I'm going to call this Poison Meme. And I can set the quality here. I set it at 85% as the default. That works pretty well. Uh, it's good enough for your internet stuff. You aren't looking at high def or anything here. Click Save. It opens up my files. And I just click Save again. If I want to, I can change the name of the meme in there. But I'll just leave it. And now it's all saved, ready to go for me to upload to Facebook. So let me show you how to upload to Facebook. I simply go into Facebook. See this little button here? It says photo or video. It opens that up. And I'm just going to type in poison. I have a lot of them here. Poison meme. It shows up here. And then I click post. And there it appears in my in my Facebook news feed. And that's all there is to it. Simple as pie. Can't go wrong. Just go to Pixlr.com, open your photo, click on type, choose the typeface you want, type it into the box, click save, and you're done. Again, a lot of this tech stuff isn't hard at all. It's just a matter of knowing what to do. Now you know what to do, and you can play this video over if you want to find it to keep track of the steps. So until next time, this is Terry Main, and this has been Connections TV.